What's going on everyone, Phil here, and guys, I understand that I just recorded a vlog talking about the current situation on YouTube in regards to the whole entire copyright thing that's just been going on for a very long time. But that two minute video could not adequately explain what us content creators are currently going through. There are situations on YouTube right now that are far worse than mine. I'm currently dealing with an automated copyright claim. This is the least dangerous, I guess you could say, claim that you can get. This is simply someone stuck their content into the YouTube automated claim system and any video that closely resembles that content gets flagged as a automated copyright claim and then any ad revenue earned off that video goes to that other person's thing. Or they block ads entirely, that's on them. But it does not directly affect my channel standing. I'm in good standing both community guidelines and copyright wise. I I'm good, like my channel is not affected by this. Granted, I decided to appeal the claim, like I am going against this copyright claim and if the copyright holder decides to do so, they can then decide to give me a copyright strike and then I'll be in an even worse situation. This is the dangerous part of YouTube. This is the part of YouTube that needs to be talked about. It's the part that threatens every single content creator with just dangerous repercussions. Even though I believe I'm innocent and I believe that fair use is on my side, it doesn't matter what I believe because the other creator believes that I'm wrong and because they believe that I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'm not innocent until proven guilty on YouTube and neither is any other content creator. We are guilty until proven innocent and that is the facts. You don't have to look far to see this. Just look at the most recent situation. Chad Wildclay, a YouTuber who is far within fair use. He's someone who's gone to school for copyright law and knows fair use. He's uploaded parodies that are currently threatening to uh, ban his channel. Friday, his channel is going to be banned. His, his content will be removed, his channel will disappear. This is someone who, in my eyes, and in the eyes of many, falls within fair use. And in his eyes, as someone who is a content creator who has extensive knowledge in copyright law and fair use, he's guilty until proven innocent. He's required to prove to YouTube that he's innocent when it kind of should be the other way around. When I upload my video to YouTube, or when any other content creator uploads a video to YouTube, it should be on the other person to prove that I'm guilty of breaking the law. Now, I'm not gonna say that YouTube should not take the videos down. They should take the videos down, but as Chad said, we shouldn't be automatically given a strike for that. We shouldn't be penalized for it. We should have an opportunity to prove to YouTube that we're innocent without being automatically given the strongest of punishments. This is a problem. This is a serious problem on YouTube. It affects so many content creators. It's affected so many people just this year alone. It's a very big issue. It's dangerous. Like, it's very dangerous to be a content creator because everything that you've worked for can be taken out like that. Three copyright strikes and your channel's terminated. And it can happen back to back to back. Now granted, YouTube has started to work towards fixing this whole entire system, but with a system this broken, fixing it just a little bit isn't going to cut it. So many YouTubers rely on this as their income. This is a lot of YouTubers' jobs. It's not mine. Right now it's just my hobby but I would want it to be my job. But for so many other YouTubers, it is their job, and if they get three strikes, they've lost their income. They've lost the very thing that they live off of. And all because of this guilty until proven innocent system that needs to be fixed. I understand that there are plenty of people on this platform that are breaking copyright law. I know there are plenty of people out there who upload just straight copyright infringement. I understand that, I get that that's a thing. But for us content creators who are not breaking the law, for us content creators that fall within fair use, we're getting slapped around here. So guys, I just wanted to let you all know what's been going on. I want you to understand that this is a problem that affects all YouTubers of all sizes. It's an issue that needs to be fixed. And that's that. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Follow my Twitter, like my Facebook, link to those are of course in the description below. And that's that. I'll see you all later.